What is the first thing that comes to mind when you think of the word stinger? Well, if your line of thought is anything like ours, then bees might be the answer. Because apart from making honey, stinging is what bees are most famously known for. It might seem like a weird connotation for this upmarket halo car, but the stinger has more in common with the humble worker bee than it might seem at first. According to Gregory Gulam, Kia's chief designer, the Stinger styling was inspired by the Coca-Cola bottle and the visual connection is more evident in the profile with the curvy flanks harking back to the Dodge Chargers of the 1960s and 70s. Incidentally, Dodge offered a limited edition high performance derivative of the Charger, dubbed the Super B. The Stinger's distinctive cab rearward silhouette also reminds you of a bee's body, a short purposeful nose and a sizable yet shapely rump. The bee possesses five eyes, three simple and two compound, similar to the stinger's intricate headlamps. And as for the antenna, see this black lens here? That's the camera. There are two more under the wing mirrors and at the back, giving you a 360 degree view of your surroundings, just like a bee's. Finally, there's the abdomen, which in the case of the bee contains not only the internal organs, but also the honey pouch the very reason for the bee's existence and also quite an important element of the Stinger. In Kia's own words, the Stinger is not an out-and-out -out performance car with hard edge dynamics and brutal styling. It is intended as a long-distance tourer that doesn't compromise on comfort and luxury. Hence, the GT moniker at the back. The Stinger's grand touring intentions are evident from the moment you climb inside. The cabin is cocooning but not cramped the seat's comfy yet supportive. The low-slung driving position with the wide center console is reminiscent of GTs of the past like the Jaguar XJS and the Porsche 928, but visibility out of the cabin is surprisingly good, even through the steeply raked rear windscreen. The list of standard equipment in this car is long, very long in fact. You get heated and ventilated front seats, a power tailgate, a power sunroof, heads-up display, wireless smartphone charging, and a 15-speaker Harman Kardon audio system. That's impressive, I hear you say, and so it should be, at the Stinger's lofty sticker price of 859,000 Rand 900. For that same price, you can get yourself a BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe or an Audi A5 Sportback. The Kia's closest non-premium rival, however, is the Volkswagen Artyan, a car which we love, yet a few buyers took any notice of. So how does this Stinger compare to such revered company? And what sets it apart? Well, to find out, it's time to leave the city and head to this Kia's natural habitat. Elsewhere in the world, the Stinger is available with four-cylinder petrol and diesel engines. But South Africa will only get the twin-turbo V6, and that's because here, the car is branded as a limited-run halo model. Let me just say that right off the bat, the Stinger takes on the role of a long-distance tourer so excellently. I mean, it's smooth, it's quiet, and if driven sensibly, it can also be quite fuel-efficient. The most impressive feature in this car is the ease in which it delivers performance. I mean, there might be a force-fed power plant underneath the bonnet, but the linear way in which it accelerates is akin to a larger naturally aspirated engine. Nowadays though, we expect cars to fulfill multiple roles. Simply being a consummate mile eater is not enough if you're hoping to compete against the likes of BMW and Audi. And this is where the Stinger falls short in our opinion. Yes, there are five different drive modes, including a track mode. And yes, it's properly fast, 0 to 100 is yours in under 5 seconds. But you can't help feeling the Stinger was never meant to be hustled too vigorously. The chassis always feels composed and those massive Brembo brakes reassure you that you'll always be able to come to a halt quickly and securely. So what is it then? I think it is the sound from the exhaust. Um, in a BMW 6 cylinder for instance, once you get pressing on that accelerator, the note hardens and becomes more rough. But in a Kia, it becomes louder and more strained. Frankly, I think it needs a bit more sting in the bag. So 
But does this mean that you should dismiss the Kia Stinger altogether? Well, before you do, there's some factors to consider. Firstly, that it even exists. For Kia to produce a car like this, is akin to Land Rover producing a high volume, low cost city car. It's almost unheard of. Then there's the speed in which the Korean company developed the Stinger. What started out as a GT concept, shown in Frankfurt in 2011, then evolved into a GT4 Stinger, displayed in Detroit in 2014. And just four years later, here it is, on the road in South Africa. But there's something else. In an age where cars are becoming increasingly dynamic, refinement and comfort often fall by the wayside. We have frequently commented about the harsh ride quality of Mercedes-Benz products, and they're not even the only culprits. The Stinger, by contrast, provides a cosseting experience for those who sit inside it and a mesmerizing one for those who get to clap their eyes on it. It might not be the new queen bee in its segment, however, it is a super bee in our books.